In today's set of lessons, we reversed our process. In this set, we decided that we didn't have parallel lines. We couldn't assume lines were parallel, but we were given some information about lines or angles that made congruent angles and angles that were supplementary. So we're gonna take a look at a diagram here that shows two sets of parallel lines. Note that there is no information about them being parallel. There are no extra arrows showing parallel lines. We cannot assume they're parallel. We are given some information here though, so we're gonna use this information to see if we can make a conclusion about certain lines being parallel. This first one says that angle one is congruent to angle three. Angle one congruent to angle three. Those two are vertical angles. Just knowing that vertical angles are congruent is not enough information to know that lines are parallel. So I can make no conclusions about lines M and N or P and Q. The only thing I really can say is that line P intersects line M, which has nothing to do with parallel lines. Well, let's look at the second set. Angle four is congruent to angle six. Here's angle four, here's angle six. These two are alternate interior angles that are congruent. And today in class, you prove the converse of the alternate angles theorem, stating that if four and six being alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So from this information, we can conclude that M is parallel to N. In fact, any set of alternate interior angles that are congruent will show that the lines are parallel. We can say the same if 12 and 14 were congruent, 11 and 13 were congruent, or three and five were congruent. Let's take a look at the last set. This shows that the measure of angle five and the measure angle two sum to 180, <clears throat> two and five. Now angle two and angle five are supplementary, summing to 180, but let's take a closer look to see if that's enough information for us to make conclusions based on our converse theorems. Well, five and two don't relate in terms of alternate exterior. They don't relate in terms of interior on the same side or exterior on the same side. However, if we look carefully, angle two and angle four are vertical angles. We know that vertical angles are congruent. Therefore, we know angle four is also equal to angle two and can be substituted in to this expression. I can change this then to be the measure angle five plus the measure angle four summing to 180. If four and five sum to 180, those are interior angles on the same side of the transversal. And by our converses, if interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary, we can conclude that lines M and N are parallel. And that is true for any of our interior angles on the same side or exterior angles on the same side. If they are supplementary, then we can prove parallel lines.